friends are trapped on the river and drifting ever farther from the yellow brick road. They have to get to shore. But how? I sure hope so. Oh, if I could only touch bottom, I'd be back in control, but I can't. There must be a way out, if only we could think of it. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. This river seems to go on for miles and miles. We'll never get off at this rate. Oh, look, everyone! Oh! I've touched bottom! Oh! Oh! oh. What's wrong? It's stuck! The pole is stuck! Oh. I can't pull it out! Let, Let go, go of the pole! pole. Let go! Ah. Ah. Oh no, Scarecrow! Wait, don't leave me! Don't oh, no. leave me! Come back! Don't leave me here like this! Help! We'll come back! Don't panic and hold on! We'll come back for you as soon as we can! But I can't hang on forever! We'll be back! really should have let go of that pole. We must save him. But how? We can't get off this raft, Dorothy. We have to get off. We have to. I'd love to get off, but as soon as I hit the water, I'd rust solid. I've got it. Mm -hmm. We'll swim for it. Dorothy, weren't you listening? If I get anywhere near that water, I'll be scrap metal. When you said we, you meant me, didn't you? Huh? Lion, there's no other way. No, I suppose not. I'll try to tow the raft ashore behind me. My idea, exactly. You can swim, can't you? Well, I've never actually tried it, but lions are supposed to be able to swim. I do hope you're right, Lion. We don't want to lose you, too. Oh, what a terrible thought. But we can't abandon poor Scarecrow. Right. That's the spirit, Lion. Jump in and I'll grab onto your tail, all right? Yes, okay. I, I'm all set now. I, I'm going to jump in any second. Oh, I'm jumping in! Oh, quick, Tin Man! I, I got you, Lion! Good. Swim, Lion, swim! Good one. Oh, good, Lion. Keep going, Lion, you're getting there. Don't try to talk, just swim. Keep going, you're almost there. You swim beautifully, Lion. As long as I stay dry, I'll be all right. Oh, one more, one more. You're almost there. You did oh, it! Lion, We're on shore! Me. Well done, Lion, well Let done. Don't go too far. Strong and brave as could be. Dorothy, I was scared out of my wits. I didn't think I'd make it. <sighs> well, I have no doubt about it. You can swim. You're strong, too. That raft was heavy. I know. I think I sprained my tail. Well, I don't care what you say, Lion. Scared out of your wits or not, you got us to shore. You're my hero. Mine, too. Oh, I'm no hero. If I were a hero, I would have jumped in and saved poor Scarecrow as soon as the pole got stuck. You would have if you thought of it. Right. But speaking of Scarecrow, we'd better go back. Yes. No, you stay here and rest for a minute, Lion. Tim Man and I will start back. You can catch up with us on the way. Hmm? Good plan. You're completely exhausted, Lion. Get your strength back. No, I'm going with you. But, Lion... No, Dorothy. Oh, what? Lion, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Oh, he's oh. worn out, Dorothy. Come on, we can't let him go alone. No, of course not. Hmm. Anyone remember this part of the river? Not me. I had my eyes closed all the way. My eyes were open, but it all looks the same to me. Oh, where is he? We'll find him, Dorothy. Slipping! Oh, 
Oh no! And the pole's falling over too! Lion, are you strong enough to swim to him? Yes, but he's bound to get soaked, Dorothy. And he's made of straw. There'd be nothing left but a soggy lump. Wait a second. What if we ask that stork on the other side to help us out? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Stork, can you hear me? Are you talking to me? Yes! Could you please save our friend? First of all, dearie, I'm not a stork, I'm a crane. Second of all, I'm not a mister, I'm a missus. And finally, your friend looks too heavy for me. Couldn't you at least try? He's made of straw. He hardly weighs anything at all. Oh, please try. Straw or not, I'd still be taking a risk. I'm not as strong as I look, you know. I'm very delicate. If he's too heavy, I'd have to drop him in the river. Will you just do it? Don't you snap at me! Oh, Tin Man didn't mean to, and Scarecrow's not too heavy, Mrs. Crane, honest. Woo! Who's he down there? Ready or not? Here I come! All set, Scarecrow? I, I, I hope so. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! Got him! <laughs> oh, she did it! She did it! Now. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Crane. Look, the call! She was just in time! You're shaking so much I can't fly straight! I'm scared you want to make me into a nest. What? Don't be silly. Why don't you stall? I use nothing but fresh treats. That's a relief. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I'm covered in all Dorothy, I missed you, too. Oh, you must have been terrified. Terrified? Dorothy, I would have been scared witless if I had any wits, that is. Oh, thank goodness Mrs. Crane was here. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for saving him. Oh, I quite enjoyed it. I've never actually saved anyone before. Gosh, I'm just so glad to see you all again. What an afternoon. I was so afraid for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, kindly lion. But I'm fine. Really, I am. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! Well, I, uh, I'm as fine as can be expected. It must have been awful. Yeah, I thought I'd never see the Emerald City. The Emerald City? Who? You mean you're on your way to the Emerald City? What for? We want to see the wizard. You mean the wonderful Wizard of Oz, I suppose? Why, yes, that's right. He's going to help us. Well, is that a fact? I didn't realize the wizard helped people. I heard he was mean. I never saw anyone. But I could have heard Rob. Oh, I hope so. No one else can help us. I'm sure he will, dear. Forget I spoke. I can't wait to get there. Say, maybe you'd like to come with us. You could ask for something, too. Yes, I'm going to ask him for a brain. Tin Man wants a heart, Lion wants courage, and Dorothy wants to go back home to Kansas. Is there something you want, too? I've got a heart and a brain, and I guess I've got courage. And I have a home and a family, too. I don't need a thing. But it was nice of you to ask. Well, I'd better be going. The chips will be wanting their supper. Good luck, everyone. Nice meeting you all. Oh, goodbye, Mrs. Crane. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks again for saving me. <laughs> goodbye, Oh, now. we meet again. Here we are together. Searching for our Dorothy, you haven't said a word in ages. Anything huh? wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. I've been thinking, that's all. Oh, thinking. I don't blame you. If I had a brain, I'd do nothing but think from dawn till dusk. Oh, uh, what have you been thinking about, Dorothy? Our route. If we follow the river back to the Yellow Brick Road, it will take forever. So I was wondering if there might be another way to do it to save time, that's all. Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking already. If we go that way... <laughs> We'll still find the road and be closer to the Emerald City. That's right. Cutting across that field will save us time and extra walking. Uh-huh. Sounds like a good idea. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. I think we should do it. Oh, what I give to get ideas like that, Dorothy. 
But you knew exactly what Dorothy's idea was before she said it, Scarecrow. If you ask me, you must have a brain already. Oh, no. Oh, I can guess what others are thinking from time to time, sure. But I can't think up what they're thinking myself unless they think of it first. Oh, uh, right. Huh? Oh, come on, let's get started. Right. I can't smell a thing, but of course my nose is made of tin. And mine's just decoration. They well, don't smell that strong, Dorothy. <laughs> Toto, leave them alone. Leave them alone? Let's just leave. Yes, come on, Toto. is doing it. But how? Must be the scent, I guess. Our noses aren't real, so we can't smell the flowers like they did, but if we could, uh -huh. then we'd be sleepy, too. See? Now Toto's sleepy. Oh. 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 oh, I've never heard of flowers that could make you sleepy. Me neither, but it must be them. The longer I stay here, the sleepier I get. I'm, I'm falling asleep right where I am. These flowers are dangerous. We'll have to get them out of here somehow, Tin Man. Who knows? These flowers may be under a witch's spell. They could even be deadly. Come on, give me a hand with Lion. No, I'm too heavy. Save Dorothy. I'll try to run for it. Head for the river, Lion, and try to hold your breath. You're stronger than me, Tin Man. You better carry Dorothy. Right. But you'll have to carry my axe, Scarecrow. Uh, sure. No! <laughs> Toto on Dorothy's lap was a good idea, Scarecrow. Oh, that wasn't an idea. That was all we could do, that's all. Oh, no! He didn't make it! Oh. Lion, wake up! It's no use. We'll have to carry him out of here, too. Well, we could try, but we'll never make it. Lion was right. He's too heavy for a scarecrow. Hey, wait. Maybe we could wake up Dorothy and see if she has any ideas. Well, all right, but we'll have to get her out of here first. Don't worry, my friend. Dorothy's sure to think of something, although I can't imagine what. Oh, if I only had a brain. We could try calling her name. Dorothy? Dorothy? Wake up, Dorothy, please. We need you. <coughs> huh? Tin Man, over there. Something's <coughs> chasing something. It's a wildcat. <coughs> <coughs> I'll put a 
to stop this. Don't mention it. It makes my oil boil when I see anyone acting so heartlessly. I suppose it's because I don't have a heart myself. It seems such a waste. I mean, if he wants to pick on someone, why can't he pick on someone his own size instead of a little mouse? I, sir, am more than a little mouse. Goodness! I happen to be royalty, a queen, in fact. You're a queen? Queen of what? Queen of all the field mice, of course. Address me as Your Majesty. <gasps> Your Majesty? Much better. A queen must be treated with the respect that is her due. Oh, uh, forgive me, Your Majesty. I, uh, I didn't know. Why, of course you're forgiven, sir. Think nothing of it. But now I owe you a royal favor, for you have saved my royal life. Whatever is in my power to give is yours. Your Majesty, on behalf of Tin Man and myself, thank you. Your Majesty, you're alive! Oh, it's a miracle! Here you are in the royal flesh! Hey, get that! This is What happened, Your Majesty? How did you do it? Well, royal subjects, I was rescued by this tin man who scared the wild cat off. A most noble fellow. <laughs> in gratitude, I have granted him a special royal favor. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. Now, oh, thank you. What should I ask for? No, no, no! Stop that! They're friends. Don't scare them away. They may be able to help us. Uh, Your Majesty! Your Majesty, come back! Are you quite sure he won't eat us? Oh, yes. He doesn't like mice. Uh, to eat, I mean. Soda! Dorothy, you're awake! Oh, thank goodness for that. <coughs> I take great pleasure in presenting the Queen. The, the what, Scarecrow? The Queen! Oh, how do you do? Please, Your Majesty. I love your crown. What's your name, child? Dorothy. A noble name. Why, thank you. <laughs> now then, Tin Man, we're waiting. Name your royal favor. Right. I'd like you to help our friend who's asleep in that field. He's a lion and... <gasps> Wait, don't be afraid. He's a very gentle lion. He thinks he's a coward. He wouldn't hurt a flea. A gentle lion? Who thinks he's a coward? We'll have to take his word for it, subject. Send for 20 of my strongest warriors. Right. Follow me, mice. And make it fast. Thank you. You've been very kind. We all appreciate everything you've done for us. My pleasure, dear. Now my royal subjects and I shall return to our domain in the fields. Till we meet again, farewell. Bye. Thanks again. Come along, subjects. Nice meeting you, Your Majesty. Watch out for wildcats. Oh, that won't happen again. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Lion's still fast asleep. Gosh, I sure hope he wakes up soon so we can go on. It could be a while from the way he's snoring. Mm. Oh well, can't be helped. Sorry I kept you waiting. Those flowers were powerful. Some lion laid low by flowers and rescued by mice. How humiliating. At least you're alive, Lion. That's all that matters. Oh, I suppose so. Oh! Ah! Uh, there's the road! Oh, the road did it! Oh, 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 oh,
it again. Ho, ho, ho. The yellow brick road, thank goodness. At last, we're back on course to the Emerald City. I can't wait to get started. Me too. <laughs> hey, wait for me. What? <laughs> I was afraid we'd never see the yellow brick road again. But at least Dorothy and her friends are back on course to the Emerald City. Though it looks like they've still got a long way to go.